Hello there, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Quake Dissolution of Eternity on Nightmare. This is R1M5, Towers of Wrath. Okay, well we are finally out of that accursed cave and up into the Towers of Wrath. Well, I can already tell you this level is challenging, but not for the same reasons as Cave of Death. There's no BS earthquakes to deal with. Just good old-fashioned high-octane action. So first we're going to head down the right path to activate that button to make our passage safe, but watch out. I wouldn't call that path entirely safe. We have a fiend to take care of, and an ogre over here, and then a hell knight way over there. Yeah, notice how much more spacious this map is already. It's one of the reasons I like it so much. I would say this is probably one of my favorite maps in this whole episode. It just screams Quake Atmosphere. Oh, and what's this? New ammo type. The Plasma. Ooh. So the Thunderbolt's got a bit of an upgrade. It now shoots a ball of plasma. So basically what the Plasma does is it collides with an enemy, and if there are any, uh, any other enemies close by, it sends out an electric shock, which hits them as well. I'm not exactly sure how much damage it does, but it's it's fairly powerful, and I don't really find myself using it too much, so I just find myself with an absolute surplus of ammo for it. But anyway, we're going to go through this little doorway here. We have a Scrag trying to kill us, and an Ogre, and a Hell Knight. And that cage, by the way, is secret number one. Take care of this misbehaving Hell Knight real quick. Take care of the Scrag. There's a Hell Knight up there, along with a regular Knight. And Enforcers! Yep. First we saw Grunts, then we saw Enforcers. But secret number one is right in here. It leads to that cage. Simply shoot that flickering light. Jump into the portal, and voila! A hundred health and a button to let us get back to where we were. Alright, next we're going to go down the elevator. Keep your super nail gun at the ready. Lava nails are preferred. Because we got quite a fight on our hands in here. We've got scrags, we've got ogres. We've got an enforcer. And secret number two is actually in this room. It is this piece of wall right here, and all you uh, have to do to lower it is to walk up this ramp. For a green armor, some cells, and the power shield. Let's go ahead and go up here and scrounge up some supplies. Head up the elevator, take care of the knight, grab the rocket launcher, press the button, kill the enforcer and go through the teleporter you just opened up to wind up back out here. Now there is a Hell Knight and a Scrag waiting for you, but this path has now been formed, allowing us to get inside this room. Oh, watch out for the multi-grenades. And we have our first Vor. Let's give him some plasma to choke on. Okay, and secret number three. Oh. Take care of that underwater scrag real quick. Grab some more nails and some lava nails. Secret number three, I believe, is actually a quad damage, so let's open the pathway first. Or no, I think it's a pentagram. Matter of fact, yeah, I believe it's a pentagram. So now we'll open it. Secret number three, shoot this button to open this hatch over here. For nails, cells, and yes, the pentagram of protection. Arm your lava nails, go through the wind tunnel, get on the platform, and just blast everyone you can find. Activate these buttons as you stop by them. And don't worry about losing your armor, you will find a yellow suit in here. But you will spawn in some more bad guys with some of these buttons that you press. 
But, never fear. There's your yellow armor right there. Whoa, uh, hi. Oh, was that the last one? I think it was. Yes, it was. Cool. Grab the armor, drop down, watch out. There's going to be a fiend and a scrag in here waiting for you. Now, there is a box of multi rock. Oh, no, I already grabbed it. Okay, we're good. Go down this elevator. Keep your nails and explosives at the ready. We have some enforcers. We also have a fiend. Some scrags and an ogre. And secret number four is right through this wall with a slightly different texture. It is a quad damage, which we will not be grabbing just yet. Yeah, we'll wait till we leave this room. So we can put it to maximum use. We'll just take care of the vor from down here. There's going to be a fiend up here as well. Go ahead and take care of him. Jump in this cage for the key, but watch out. You're going to spawn a couple of scrags. And then you simply just have to wait a few seconds for the cage to let you out from the bottom. Just like that. And, yes, yeah, secret number four. Snag the quad damage. And let's let her rip. Go back up the elevator through these now open doors. Got some enforcers and a scrag. Secret number five is right back here. It's a bio suit. And go back through this tunnel here, or this pipe rather. This leads you to those bars that we couldn't open from the other side. Now we have to jump through these wind tunnels here, but there is going to be a scrag who can potentially block your path. I don't think I was able to get him. We'll have to go back there and find him. Which we will do. Because he's right in front of the gold key door. But for right now, we have a fight on our hands in here. A fair bit of enforcers. We got some scrags. I'm going to save that armor for later. And to get out of here, we have to throw this button, which will summon a couple of shamblers. And that 100 health, by the way, is secret number 6. But press the button to release the shamblers. Take cover under this uh, walkway here. I did not mean to grab that, but that's okay. Oh, uh, why are you up there? Hey, what are you doing? How dare you misbehave. And the second one should be popping out right about now, and there he is. And there we go. Both shamblers taken care of. Get some cells back. Jump up on this walkway and up onto the pipe. And onto this box for secret number six. Grab the key. Get your rocket launcher ready. There's a vor waiting for us. Maybe I did kill that scrag. Oh, yep. I think that's his body right there. Cool. All right. Open this door here, take care of the Enforcers and the Fiend. Get your explosives out. And let's just go crazy. We've got a couple of Scrags. A couple of Ogres. Enforcers, and there's also a Vor at the very tippy top of this room. Yep, probably heard him screech just now. We have another Ogre just above us. Alright. And the Vor is probably just around... Oh, there he is. Oh, nah, that's okay. That's alright. Alright, let's try that again. There we are. There is a red armor at the very top, so no worry about losing too much armor. Let's go ahead and demolish both of those enforcers. And to get out of here, we have to power up the next door by pressing this button. Which will allow this generator to have some power added to it. Some juice. Let the lightning beam shoot forward and then quickly run inside. Get your lava nails out. Because we're going to have an enforcer. A fiend. And a scrag. 
Make that two scrags. And then just above, we have more bad guys. We have a Hell Knight. We have an Enforcer. There's also going to be a Fiend. I think we can just take him out with some nails. There's another Enforcer. And there's the Fiend. Alright. Five enemies left. I believe we're doing good. Open the final secret, which is a quad damage. Ride this elevator up. Take out the two Scrags. Both the Enforcers. And press this button to summon a Shambler. And just Thunderbolt his ass into oblivion. And we are finished. Yep. Much more enjoyable map. Much more. And we're done. Let's go. And that was Towers of Wrath. Map number five. I would say in terms of the actual combat, this is probably the most challenging one yet. Cave of Death was really only more difficult overall because of the environmental hazards. The earthquakes and the lava traps and the moving platforms and all the other junk. <laughs> the earthquakes mostly because it messes up your movement. And making that final walkway lose parts of its... Uh, parts of itself into the lava while you're running up it is just a very cheap trick you gotta be very careful on that part but there's none of that crap here just good old fashioned combat from start to finish and yeah nothing really to dislike about it there are some close quarters uh, encounters that could be fairly panic inducing if you're not ready that's where the lava nails come in <laughs> come into play big time especially if you have the super nail gun and just overall a very enjoyable environment, like how you're inside this kind of runic wizard-like tower. No cave-like environment to be found here. Got an awesome soundtrack to do battle with. Or do battle to, I guess. And yeah, just all-around fun map. So we are now two maps away, or well, only two maps left until the end of episode one. So, until next time, that was Towers of Wrath. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in map number six. So until next time, bye-bye.